In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a copycat honey bake ham. You do not want to miss this. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We are so glad you are here. Please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. Here on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. And we also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. Make sure to check that out and also to sign up for our email list because I always send out some awesome deals that I get from a lot of my affiliates. And I'll also let you know every time we upload a new blog post. So make sure to check that out. And if you are returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. Today's video is part of a collaboration with Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles, and I will leave her channel as well as the playlist down in the description box. Now, Ingrid is one of my homeschool mamas and she has amazing inspirational stuff on her channel as well as she's my keto buddy but this recipe is not keto because it has sugar in it but it's the holidays so this collaboration is called favorite winter crock pot recipes so this is one of my favorite ones in the winter because i use it for christmas and thanksgiving and you have to use your slow cooker to make this copycat honey baked ham recipe. It is so good. So let's get started. Here is everything you are going to need to make your copycat honey baked ham. Okay, so you're going to need a bone in spiral sliced ham. And you wanna make sure that you get one that will fit in your crock pot because you're going to need your crock pot okay so you need the ham you're going to need your crock pot you're going to need a baking sheet you are going to need two tablespoons of melted butter you are going to need a cup and a half of granulated sugar you are going to need three tablespoons of honey and in this seasoning mixture, you are going to need one half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, one half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth a teaspoon of ground ginger, a fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a pinch of allspice. So I will leave all of these measurements and everything down in the description box, but I just wanted you to see it. So what you need now is we're gonna set our seasonings to the side along with our sugar. And what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our spiral ham and we are going to make sure that it is cut all the way through. And then we are going to mix our three tablespoons of honey in with our two tablespoons of melted butter and then we are going to pour it all over the ham get it good in there and then we're going to put it in the crock pot so i'm going to get this opened up and then i'll be back to show you the step that happens next all right we got the ham out of the package so now what we're doing is we're just going through and we're separating the spiral cuts so that way we can get all of the butter and honey goodness down in between the cracks. So it may take a little while. Don't force it, don't rush it, cause you'll rip it. So it just lay it open just like that. All right, we are mixing the butter and the honey all together. And make sure again, your butter is melted. 
And this is just the glaze that we're gonna put on before it goes in the crock pot. <clears throat> Right now we're just gonna drizzle it in there. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can do it with a brush, you can spoon it in there, but you just wanna make sure that you get it in between each piece of spiral cut ham. And then at the end, you're gonna rub it on the top. All right, now we have put it down in there and now we're just going to rub it all around to make sure it gets good and in there. All right, we've got it good down in all the cracks now. Now we're just taking the excess and we're just rubbing it all over the outside of it. And see so you had a little left, so just drizzle and get in there and get dirty. All right, we're gonna put it in our crock pot. And you want to put it just like this with the big side down. So when you're picking up your ham, keep in mind what size crock pot you have. So now we're going to put the top on it and we are going to let it cook on high for two hours. It's been two hours. We just got the ham out of the crock pot. You can see right here there was some juice left. We're going to set this to the side because we're going to need it in a minute and Mike is sprinkling the mixture of all of the seasonings and the sugar. We mixed it all together in a big Ziploc, which makes it much easier to mix together. And he's just taking handfuls, sprinkling it on top, and he's gonna get it all in the nooks and crannies. And when he gets done with that, we'll be back to show you. This is what it looks like after you get done sprinkling all of the sugar and seasoning mixtures. You can see that it's deep down in there. And we are getting ready to put it on broil for about five minutes at the max, just to caramelize all of this sugar that's on here. So when it comes out of the broiler, we will let you see it. Here it is out of the oven after being on broil for five minutes. Now we're gonna move over and make the glaze. Okay, there's about two tablespoons of juice from the ham in the crock pot. Now we're gonna pour the remainder of the sugar and spice mixture and we're going to mix it all up until it becomes more like a caramel glaze. Okay, we had to add some more juice to it. So everything is in here. We're just going to keep stirring it and we'll check back in just a second. All right, it is starting to boil and thicken up and you just want to keep it moving so it doesn't scorch because remember it's got the sugar in it and it will scorch. You just want it to be super frothy and bubbly. And we're making a glaze. So we'll be back in just a second to show you when we pour it over the ham. All right, here is the glaze going over the top. You just wanna to try to get it as much as you can in between and on the top. It is very, very hot, so do not stick your hand directly in it. But you want to try to get it all over as much as you can. And then we're going to stick it back in the oven on broil for about three to five minutes. Keep an eye on it because you want it to glaze, but you do not want it to burn. And here is the end result. This is what it looks like when it comes out after having the glaze put on it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will leave the ingredients as well as the directions down in the playlist. Make sh I'm sorry, down in the description box. Make sure to check out the playlist in the description box as well 
because there's going to be so many, many winter favorite recipes. Y'all, I cannot talk today. I don't know what it is. I think it is because I am so excited about the holidays that are upcoming. Make sure to leave me a comment to let me know what is your favorite thing about the holidays. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.